11. So everyone rem remember that concept of limits? Or do I need to revise <coughs> all the topics which are there in the limits? Please reply me on the chat box. Do you remember the concept of limit or not? Uh, Fahad, Rifat, Zayat. Uh, a quick revision. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. Then uh, we will do a one question or differentiation. Okay. And then uh, we will revise the limits of class 11th. And after that, you have a test. <clears throat> okay. Uh, anyone have... Uh, Anyone have a doubt in the homework? <clears throat> Question is, if y is equal to mod fx, gx, hx, l, m, n, a, b, c, Prove that. Prove that dy by dx is equal to L M N A B and C. Okay. So we have to prove this one. If y is equal to this, y is a determinant, we have to prove dy by dx is equal to this. Okay. So this is a different type of question. That's why uh, I'm doing this in the class. Always remember, if you need to differentiate a determinant, if we need to differentiate a determinant, then what we will do, we will differentiate a row, then add it with the second determinant. Uh, I will show you here. If we need to differentiate this determinant, then what we will do? First of all, we will differentiate first row or first column. That's your choice. So I'm doing I'm differentiating the first row. Remaining, if we are doing the if we are finding the derivative of row, then rest of the rows will remain as it is. A, B, C. After this, we will differentiate the second row. So fx, gx hx okay differentiate this uh, dl by dx dm by dx dn by dx <clears throat> then a b and c plus fx gx hx Next, L, M, N, as it is, we will differentiate the third row. DX, DX, DX. Okay. Now, this implies, uh, we will do the, uh, on the next slide, dy by dx is equal to, this remain as it is, F dash X, G dash X, H dash X, this is L, M, and A, B, and C plus uh, then fx, gx, hx will remain as it is. Now the derivative of this is zero because the element are the constant. Okay. And then we have a third determinant where the first row will remain as it is fx, gx, hx. Okay. Here we have L, M, and N. And the last row will remain zero. So what we will get here, dy by dx is equal to f dash x, g dash x, h dash. Okay, this is L, M, N, A, B, C. And you know that the second determinant value is zero. And similarly, this is also zero because the complete row is zero. That's why the value of the determinant will become zero. Same with the third determinant. Okay. So we have to prove this one. 
And the next step, just ignore the zero and this is the final answer. So please raise your hand, all of you, if you understood this. Okay, Zad, good. Okay, Fat, good. Rifat, is it clear? Rifat, is it clear? Okay, great. So please note down this and then again raise your hands once it is done. Then we will uh, discuss the limits. Uh, Z, uh, I can see here joined two times, I guess. Um, two times her name is visible in the participants list. Is it a, is it a network issue? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, first I joined in, and then I left. That's okay, okay, let, okay. Let me list. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, so I guess everyone has done this. I'm going to change the slide. Please complete it and let me know so that we can start the limits. Okay, Rifat, good. Zed and Fat, please confirm if it is done. Okay, Fahad and Zed, good. So we will start the limits. <clears throat> Okay, so we will discuss this limit. Anyone can tell me that what is a limit or more precisely if I will ask you if uh, if this is written that limit x tends to c fx and suppose this is equal to b, then anyone can tell me what you understood from this. You had done the limits in class 11th, okay? So can anyone tell me what is mean by this one? <clears throat> Limit extends to C f x is equal to B. What is the meaning of this? No? Okay, please check here. Value of x is C in the equation. Okay. So... Let, let me draw a graph for you. Okay. Suppose we have this curve. Let this point, this is x. 
Okay, this is your function fx. Let this point is c. You can see in the graph there is nothing here. At x is equal to c. At x is equal to c, there is nothing here. Okay, if I will say that this is b, but if x is equal to c, suppose you have a function fx. So z, can you tell me what is f c here? Um, uh, it's a function. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, you have sent me this uh, message now. Uh, value of x is c in the equation. So uh, this I want to uh, make uh, make out clear that if you will find f c here, then f c does not exist. F c does not exist. Why? Because there is nothing here. You can see here. There is no value. Suppose if you will write like this. This point is. Okay, now B. Now we can say that here FC is equal to B because there is something here. But what will happen if I will erase this part? What will happen if nothing is there? Then FC does not exist. Then one thing is clear that if I am writing like this, limit x tends to C, FX is equal to B, then this doesn't mean FC. One thing is clear that this doesn't mean FC. Okay, then what is this? That was a formula. That was the answer which you get. But this doesn't mean FC. So what is actually a limit? This means if you are approaching, if X is approaching C, if X is approaching C, then FX approaches to B. This means if you are, if you are moving towards C, if X is moving towards C, then FX is approaching to what value? that represent this complete limit extends to c fx so sometime what will happen that there is nothing here okay uh, for that value the function does not exist but limit exists so limit means what this function is approach uh, sorry the function is approaching to what value this is represented by limit extends to c okay uh, suppose Uh, this is quite uh, this is quite tough okay the concept of limits so i will tell you how to solve a limit but please try to understand that uh, what is mean by a limit suppose we have uh, this function okay and let this value be 4 and let this value be okay and here let this value be 2 and this is your function fx so if I'm saying that limit x tends to 2fx, then what does this mean? This means if, if x is approaching to 2, then fx is approaching to what value? Here, fx is approaches to 4. If you will go close to this 2, then fx will approach to 4. So that's where the limit is 4. f2 does not exist here. Here, f2 does not exist. But yes, the limit will exist. So most many times you will find out a function which does not exist at a particular value, but yes, limit will exist at that value. Okay. So if a function exists or does not exist that well at that point, that doesn't affect the limits. Okay. So in limits, we will just check that the function is approaching to what value that is mean by the limits. Okay. Uh, let me explain to you like this one. Suppose fx is equal to x square minus 4 by x minus 2. Anyone can tell me what is the value of f2? Anyone can tell me what is the value of f2? So 0. No, not 0. Always remember 0 by 0 is not 0. If you will put this value f2 in the numerator, you will get a 0. In the denominator also, you will get a 0. So 0 by 0 is not 0. It is a not defined form. Always please remember this. Okay. Now, what? so f2 does not exist. 4. Uh, yes, limit will exist. So if here we will find limit, 
x square minus 4 by x minus 2. Now we will check the answer. So here we have a fx. Okay. Here we have a fx and here we have a x. So if x is 2, then fx is 0 by 0, which is not defined. Now, what will happen if we will put a value 1.9 here? Then fx we will get if in this function in place of x we will put 1.9, then fx value we will get a 3.9. If we will put a value 1.99, we will get a 3.99. If we will put a value 1.3 times 9, we will get a value 3.3 times 9. So we can see when x is approaches to 2, as x is coming closer to 2, then this fx is moving towards 4. When x approaches to 2, fx is approaches to 4. Similarly, we can see from the right side that if we will put 2.1, you will get a 4.1. You will put a 2.01, you will get a 4.01. You will put a 2.001, you will get a 4.001. So if you are approaching 2 from the right side, then this fx will approach again 4. Okay, so from the left side or from the right side, if you are approaching to 2, then fx is approaches to 4. So that's why in this case, the value of the limit will be 4. f2 does not exist. So if a function exists or do not exist, that point this that does not affect the limit. Okay, here the value of the limit is 4. Why? Because the function is approaching to 4 when the x is approaches to we will again do the same concept. We will take again the same concept when we will do the LHN, LHL and RHL of the limit. Okay. So there is no need to note down right now. You can do it later on. Now we have two methods to solve the limit. Hopefully you remember it. First is LHL and RHL method. Second is direct method. So first of all, we will discuss the direct method. And after that, we will do the LHL and RHL. So I'm again telling you, this is not of class 12. This complete is of class 11. Once you will get to know about the limits, then we will do the continuity because in continuity, we have the use of limits. So please note down this. Okay, I will explain this to you. A limit is defined as a value that a function approaches. I already told you that the function approaches the output for the given input value. Okay. So uh, this limit extends to C, fx is equal to L. This is read as the limit of f as x approaches C equals L. Uh, only this one, okay. So please note down this, raise your hands, then we will check the different methods of solving the limits. Omir, you are again 20 minutes late. What's the reason? Omir. Okay, that's great. So Rifat and uh, okay, Rifat, good. Fahad, please raise your hands once it is done. Okay, Fahad, great. Omer, please reply me first. Next is methods of evolution of limits. As I already told you, there are two methods. Okay, major there are two methods. LHL, RHL method that we will do later on. Second is, is direct method. Okay, so in this case, we have a four methods. The first is direct substitution method, factorization method, rationalization method by using some standard limits. Okay, so all these methods you have already covered in class 11. We will do we will do a quick revision of this. Okay, so please note down this, and again raise your hands 
so that I can start the uh, I can start these methods. Okay, that's great. Fahad, Rifat, please confirm if it is done. Okay, Fahad, good. Rifat, please confirm. Okay, great. Now, direct substitution method. Okay, we will take example. In direct substitution method, what we will do, we will just put the value of x in this equation. So, for example, here the limit is x tends to 1, so we will put this value. Okay, if we are getting a real number, then it's good. This is our answer. If we are getting a not defined form, then we will move to the next method. Okay, so in direct substitution method, we will do nothing. We will just put the value in the equation. Now, please solve the second one and share your answer. There is no need to note down the first one. Please do the second one. Okay. And tell me the final answer. Uh, no, no, Zad. Please again check the calculations that you are doing calculation mistake. Yes, uh, for what is zero by seven for? Not even seven. Put this value here, so you will get a two square. Okay, two square minus four by two plus three. So this is equal to four minus four by five. This is equal to 0 by 5 and this is equal to 0. Okay, Fat. Zat, this is clear. Rifat, this is clear. Raise your hand, please, if it is clear, so that we can start the next question. Uh, okay, Zat, great. Rifat, okay, Rifat and Fat, great. Next is factorization method. So we will always start with a direct substitution method. If you are getting a not defined form when you are putting this number, then we will move to the next type of uh, next type of method. So if we will put a two here, then we will get a zero by zero form. You can check here four six ten minus ten by zero. So zero by zero. So in this case, we will get a zero by zero form. That's why we will not solve it further. Okay, by the direct method, we will use the factorization method. There's no need to note down this. Please check here. Here, uh, we need to factorize this one. So x squared minus, we can write it like this, minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 by x squared minus 4. And this is equal to limit x tends to 2. Take common x minus 2 minus 3 x minus 2 by x minus 2 into x plus 2. This is equal to limit x tends to 2, x minus 3, x minus 2, and this is x minus 2 and x plus 2. Cancel out this, put this, uh, so you will get limit x tends to 2, x minus 3, by x plus 2. Now put this limit. So you will get a 2 minus 3 by 2 plus 2. So which is equal to minus 1 by 4. Okay. So this is your final answer. Minus 1 by 4.
So I hope this is clear to everyone. Now, please. Uh, okay, Zad, you have done this. Good. Please do the second question and share your answer. Hope everyone remember the formula A cube minus B cube. Uh, great, Zad, you had done this. Good. Good, sir. This is correct. Fahad, Rifat, and Omer, please complete this and share your answer. Uh, no further, it is not zero. Okay, please use the factorization method. If you will put this one, you will get a zero by zero. So please use the factorization method. What is the formula of A cube minus B cube? This is equal to A cube minus B cube. This is equal to A minus B, A square plus B square plus AB. Okay, please use this formula cancel out the numerator and denominator and then share your answer. If anyone have a doubt in the second question, <clears throat> please let me know. Okay. Uh, no, Rifa, that is not correct. Uh, please check here. No, no, no. Okay, okay. You are talking about the third one, Zed. Okay. Uh, so I have a doubt in third. So you have a doubt in third? Okay, okay, okay. Let me complete first the second one. So limit x tends to one. Please put the formula a cube minus b cube. So you will get a x minus one into x square plus one plus x by x minus one. Now cancel out this. So you will get a limit x tends to one. And this is x square plus one plus x. Now put this limit. So what you will get? 1 plus 1 plus 1. So final answer is 3. Fahad, why you were getting... Yes, Rifat, now it is correct. Fahad, why you were getting 0? Okay, so this is the factorization method. Okay, we will not do the third one, uh, but Zed have a doubt. Zed, what's the doubt we have in the third question? Is that uh, yes? In the last question, uh, I have a little doubt. Like, uh, uh, can you please uh, like solve uh, fully? Yes. I, I will yeah. give you. I will give you the hint. Okay, okay because uh, uh, we have to complete the limits today so that in the next class we can start the continuity. So in such a case, because we can factorize a, a quadratic equation only. So in such a case, what you will do? If you will put two here, you will get a zero. So that means if you are putting x is equal to 2, you are getting 0. That's why x minus 2 is the factor of this. Hope you remember. You have done this, in, I guess, in class 9. Yes. 
So if you're putting two, you are getting a zero in the numerator, then that means X minus two is the factor of this. So just divide this one with X minus two. Okay. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, so I will do this here. X cube minus two X squared. Change the sign minus plus. Cancel out this. So you will get a minus X squared plus four. Then write minus X. So you will get a minus X squared and then plus 2x. So plus 2x we will write here because we don't have any term here. So change the sign and change the sign. You This will get cancelled out. We'll get a minus 2x plus four. So multiply this with minus two. So you will get a minus 2x plus four. Okay, Zed, it is fine? Yes. So in place of the numerator, you can write this complete expression. X minus two into this one x square minus x minus 2. You can, you can say that multiplication of these two will give you the numerator. Now, can you do the rest? Z? Uh, so, actually, till here I did it. Uh, after limit, uh, like, uh, after in calculation, I have a mistake, I think. Okay, okay. Then, Z, uh, will you please again check the mistake because I have yes. to complete this limit. Okay. Next, we have a rationalization method. This is the third method. For example, if you have this question, limit x tends to zero. So what we will do, we will start from the direct substitution method. If you will put a zero here, then please check. You will get a root two minus root two, which is zero, zero by zero. So first method that is direct substitution is not applicable here. Second, we will check factorization method. There is no scope to do the factorization. That's why we will proceed to the rationalization you already know what is mean by a rationalization limit x tends to zero under root two plus x minus root two by x into root two plus x plus root two okay into root 2 plus x plus root 2. Okay, so I hope everyone know how we do the rationalization. We will change this sign and multiply numerator and denominator with this one. Now, limit x tends to 0. There is no need to note down the first question. Okay, so please open the bracket. So what you will get under root 2 plus x whole square minus root 2 whole square by x into x into under root 2 plus x plus root 2 limit x tends to 0. Open this bracket. So you will get a 2 plus x minus 2 by in the denominator you have a x under root 2 plus x plus root 2. Now open this bracket. So you will get what? Limit x tends to 0. This 2 will get cancelled out. So you will get a x in the numerator, x under root 2 plus x plus root 2. Cancel out this x. So finally, you will get a limit x tends to 0. 1 by under root 2 plus x plus root 2. Put this value of x. So you will get 1 by under root 2 plus root 2. So the final answer is 1 by 2 root 2. Okay. So I hope this is clear to everyone. There is no need to note down this. Please solve second question in the same way. Okay. Please do the second question in the same way or and let me know if anyone have a doubt in the second question.
Uh, all of you, please let me know if anyone have a doubt in this. Uh, Z, you are getting a root A. Uh, yes, that's good. Good, Z, that's correct. And further than if please share your answer or let me know if you have a doubt here. Uh, further refer, please let me know if you have uh, if you got the answer or in case you are facing any problem here. Okay, Rifat, you are not getting the answer. Uh, let me solve this. Please check here, the second one. Uh, limit x tends to zero. So we will do the rationalization x by under root a plus x minus under root a minus x. Okay. Into under root a plus x plus under root a minus x by under root a plus x under root a minus x. Now this is equal to limit x tends to zero x into here you have under root a plus x plus under root a plus a minus x and the denominator a square minus b square. So a plus x is square minus b square that is under root a minus x whole square so this is equal to limit x tends to zero x into under root a plus x plus under root a minus x by a plus x minus a minus x open this bracket so you will get a limit x tends to zero x into under root of a plus x plus under root of a minus x by open this bracket so you will get a 2x okay a will get cancelled out if i will open this bracket a will get cancelled out and x will get added with x we will get a 2x so finally we get this one limit x tends to zero and here you have under root of a plus x plus under root of a minus x okay 
and you we must get it to here okay so by two now put this x in place of x zero so you will get a root a plus root a by two so this is equal to two root a by two this is equal to root a so i hope this is clear to everyone Fahad and Rifat, is it clear? Fahad and, okay, Fahad, good. Rifat, is it? Okay, okay, great. Now, please do the third question. Please complete the third question. Uh, please let me know if anyone have a doubt. Okay. Uh, anyone got the answer, the third one? Uh, that's very good. That me that means one, uh, one by a root a square means one by a. Hmm? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. That's that's correct. Good. Rifat and Fat, please share your answer if this is done.
refer root a square or one by root a square. One by okay, root a square is one by a. That's correct. So your answer is one by a. Very good. Fahad, is it done? Fahad, you have completed the third one, third question. Okay, fourth words answer. What is the answer of the third question? Root A or one? No, no, that's not correct. Let me solve this. Limit extends to zero. For the final answer is one by A. Okay. Extends to zero under root of A square plus X square. Okay. Minus. Minus under root of A square minus X square. By X square into under root of a square plus x square plus under root of a square minus x square by under root of a square plus x square plus under root of a square minus x square. So this you will get what? Limit extends to zero. And here you will get a square plus x square minus a square plus x square by x square into under root of a square plus x square plus under root of a square minus x square. Okay. So here you will get a limit extends to zero. A square will get cancelled out. So here you will get a 2x square by x square and here you will get under root of a square plus x square plus under root of a square minus x square. So this is equal to x square will get cancelled out. Here you will get two, put the limit here. So under root a square plus under root of a square. This is equal to two by a plus a, which is equal to two by two a, which is equal to one by a. This is clear, Fahad? Okay, great. Now we are going to start next. So today we you have a test of differentiation also. Okay. Now uh, we have some standard formulas to solve the limit. So the first formula is this. You have done this last year also. X to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a is equal to n a minus n a n minus one when the limit is extends to a. Okay, so for example, if we have this question, limit x tends to 2 x q minus 2 q by x minus 2. So the answer will be n means 2, a means, sorry, n means 3. Okay, a means 2, 3 minus 1. So you will get 3 into 2 whole square. So 3 into 4. Now please do this question number 1 and share your answer. Please complete question number one and share your answer or let me know if anyone have a doubt in this question. Uh, yes, yes, first you have to use the formula n a n minus one. Okay, this formula.
Z great discorrect. Fahad and Ifat, uh, please share your answer. Uh, for her then, if her, please uh, let me know once you completed it. Okay, sir. Okay, good. Uh, Fahad, is it not 5120? Very good, Rifat. That is correct. Okay. So, this is what? This is... Oh, okay, okay, Fahad. Then it's fine. Now, we have some more formulas. We have a... Okay, Fahad. Uh, so, we have a trigonometric limits and we have a standard formula for that. If you will check the formulas, then we have these formulas. First is limit theta tends to zero, sine theta is equal to zero. You have done all these formulas in class 11. So first is limit theta tends to zero, sine theta is equal to zero. Second is limit theta tends to zero, cos theta, which is equal to one. Third is limit theta tends to zero, sine theta by theta is equal to one. Fourth is limit, this is theta, okay? Theta tends to zero, tan theta by theta is equal to one. Always remember in these third and fourth formulas, this theta and this theta should be equal. These two should be equal. Then only we will say that our answer is one when theta tends to zero. If these two are different, then we need to equate this. We need to do some changes and make these two angles equal. Okay. So I hope everyone understood this. So please note down this and confirm me. Then we will try some questions on the basis of these form base. Okay. Note down these and raise your hands once it is done. Okay, Zad. Okay, Fahad. Very good. Fahad, is it done? Okay, great. Now we will try some questions on the basis of this. So the first question is, please check the first question. We have a limit x tends to 0 sine 3x by x. So this we can do like this. Limit x tends to... Um, we can do like this limit x tends to zero. Okay, these two angles are different. This is three x and x. I already told you that both these angles should be same. So what we will do, we will multiply and divide this with three. So you will get a three limit x tends to zero sine three x by three x. Now you can put the formula. Now you will get a three into one. Now this will become one. 
okay so you need to uh, make these two angles same now similarly please do the second one and share your answer okay everyone please do the second one and share your answer Okay, Zed, you get the answer. Uh, five by two, very, very good, Zed. It is correct. Rifat and Fern, please share your answer if this is done. Omer, first of all, tell me why you are late. Very good, Rifat, it is correct. Fahad. <coughs> hmm? Omer, I do not receive any reply from you. What is the answer, Omer? Uh, Omer, please uh, reply again. Okay, sir. Okay, so first, uh, I hope is it also... So this is a constant, write it here. Okay, limit extends to zero. Sine five x by x. Multiply and divide with five. Okay, so this is one by two. This constant five will be written here. Limit extends to zero. And here you will get the sine five x by five x. So you will get a five by two into one. Okay, so Omer, please note down the formulas.
que uh, Omer, uh, please note down this. Let me know once it is done. Okay, so hope Omer you have completed the question. Now uh, we will start the next type that is uh, LHL and RHL method. Okay. Okay, so uh, I hope uh, all these concepts are clear to you. Now we will check the next method for the limits. Okay, next is LHL and RHL math. Uh, we will again take the same function which we have taken in the starting fx is equal to x square minus 4. fx is equal to x square minus 4 by x minus 2. Okay. The same table. fx and here you have a x okay so if you will put this value to then you will get a zero by zero here and as we have already checked if we will put a 2.1 then we will get a 4.1. If we will put a 2.01, we will get a 4.01. If we will put a 2.001, we will get a 4.001. If you will put a 2.001, we will get a 4.001. Okay. So what? Uh, uh, so if you are approaching this from the right side. If we are approaching this from the right side, uh, just give me a minute. I will again join. Okay. I'm facing some issue here.
Okay, uh, sorry everyone. Let me again start the same thing. Okay, so we have a fx and we have a x. We have the same function. fx is equal to x square minus 4 by x minus 2. As we have discussed earlier, that we will get a 0 by 0 if we will put a 2. If we will put a 2.1, we will get a here 4.1. 2.01, we will get a 4.01. 2.001, we will get a 4.001. If we will put 2.001, we will get a 4.001. So if you are approaching this value from the right side, then the function is approaching to four. Similarly, if we will approach from the left side, for example, if we will put 1.9, 1.99, 1 1 1.9, okay? Then what we will get here, here we will get 3.9, 3.99, and 3.4 times nine. So that means if you are approaching this two from the left side, then this function fx will approach four. Okay, hope this is clear to everyone that if you are approaching from the left side or from the right side, the function approaches to the same value. Okay, so when we are approaching from the left side, then we will say left hand limit. A left hand limit. You might have done this in the 11th class. We are, when you are approaching from the right side, this is called right hand limit. Okay. So if left hand and right hand limit are equal, then we will say that the limit exists. Okay. So if left hand limit and right hand limit are equal, then we will say that the limit exists. Otherwise, we will say that the limit does not exist. Okay. So in which type of questions you have to use this concept, the concept of left hand and right hand limit first in the inequality of question, inequality questions, in equality questions. Okay. Second is in modulus question. In these two type of questions, you have to use the left hand and right hand limit concept. The rest of the questions we will do directly. Okay. So if anyone wish, they can note this or we can start the questions directly. So it is your wish. Please raise your hands if I have to start the questions now, right now. Okay, I will explain you this in the question. So please raise your hands if you have noted down this and we can start the questions. Okay, is that good? Fahad and Rifat, is it done? Good, Fahad. Rifat, is it done? Okay. Omer, is it done? So, okay, great. Okay, next, suppose we have this question. Uh, check that the limit, check that the limit x tends to 1 fx exist or not exist or not okay and the function is fx is equal to you have this 1 plus x squared if x is greater than or equal to 0 less than or equal to 1 and 2 minus x if x is greater than 1 Okay. Okay, then please check here how we need to solve this. 
uh, please check it. First of all, we will find LHL. LHL at x is equal to one. Okay. Let me check the time. LHL at x is equal to one. So we will write like this limit x tends to one minus fx. We will write like this limit x tends to one minus fx. One minus doesn't mean that it is minus one. One minus means that we are approaching one from the left side. Please note down this. This is not minus one. This is a one minus, which means we are approaching from the left side. We are approaching this value one from the left side. So limit x tends to one minus fx. Uh, then who can tell me that which function we will use first one or second one for this value one minus? Who can tell me which value we will use for the one minus for the LHL the first function or second function? Anyone, any idea, any guess? Very good, sir. That is correct. Please check here. If you will analyze the first function, then it is written that x is less than or equal to one. Okay. Here it is written that x is less than or equal to one. And we know that one minus we will approach from the left side. If we will approach this one from the left side, then definitely it is it will be closer to one. It will be slightly less than one. That's why for this one, we will take the first function. So first is one plus x square. Okay, x tends to one minus. Now always use this concept, put x is equal to one minus h. For the LHL, for the left-hand limit, always put x is equal to one minus h. So you will get here limit uh, in place of this x, now put this value one minus h whole square and always write the limit h tends to zero. Whenever you are putting this, always write h tends to zero. Okay, so this is equal to what limit uh, okay, now put this limit h tends to zero put here. So you will get one plus one minus zero whole square. So you will get one plus one, which is equal to two. So this is the allegation. Please raise your hand if this is clear to you. Fahad, Rifat, Zad, Omer, okay, Omer, good. Fahad and Rifat, please raise your hand if this is clear to you. Or let me know if you have any doubt in this. Fahad and Rifat. Okay, Rifat, good. Fahad. Fahad, is it clear? Fahad, is it clear? Uh, please reply first so that we can do the next part. Next is RHL. RHL right hand limit at x is equal to one. Okay. So for right hand limit, we will always write limit x tends to one plus affix. Okay. Now for one plus means greater than one, greater than one means second function. So we will write a second function here limit x tends to one plus two minus x. Always put x is equal to one plus h. Okay, in right hand, always put plus. In left hand, write minus. Okay, so you will get here what? Limit two minus, and here you will get one plus h. Right here, h tends to zero. Put this two minus one plus zero. So you will get a two minus one, which will give you one. So here you can see that left hand limit one minus fx is not equal to right hand limit one plus fx. Hence, limit will not exist. Hence, limit x tends to one fx does not exist. Does not exist. Okay, hope this is clear to everyone. In what case the limit does not exist when the LHL and RHL are not equal. So please note down this, raise your hands so that we can do one more question.
So why we are taking one plus six score in NHL? Why not two uh, x? Um, for uh, will you please repeat? So why we are taking one plus x square in LHL? One plus x square. Why not two minus six? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, for please check here. Here we are saying LHL. LHL means one minus. What is mean by one my? Uh, sorry, what I've done. Hmm. So check here. Suppose we have this function, this is the value one. LHL means we are approaching from the left side. If you are approaching from the left side, that means the value of x should be slightly less than one. Is it correct, Fred? The value of x is slightly less than one. Now check here. You will use the first function when the value of x is less than or equal to one. And when the value of x is greater than one, we will use this function. So in LHL, the value is slightly less than one. That's why we have to use the first function. Okay, Fahd? Okay, sir, got it. Okay, great. So all of you, please note down this, raise your hand so that we can do the last question. All of you, please raise your hands once it is done. Okay, Zab, good. Fahad, Omir, and Rifat, please confirm. Okay, Rifat, good. Okay, Omir. Fahad, is it done? One minute, sir. Okay, okay. Done, sir. Okay, for uh, good. So we just have two minutes. So what I will do, I will give you this question in a homework. Please try to solve it. And in case you have a doubt, then we will discuss in the next class. Okay. So if fx is equal to 2x plus 3, and this is 3x plus 1, here x is less than or equal to zero. Here x is greater than zero. Then find find limit x tends to zero fx. Okay, this is you have to do in homework. 